I would want to start with um, a clear indication that um, we superintend under the Forest Act various demarcated forests in Zimbabwe. And uh, when we say demarcated forests, other people would call it uh, gazetted forest. What that means is uh, it is protected under an act of parliament. And we have got quite a number of uh, uh, such forests. Uh, I would give um, quite a number of uh, uh, such examples like the Taka forest you find in uh, Chimani Mani district in Manikaland. Uh, the Mawa Funga Utsi, which you find in uh, Gokwe district in um, Midlands. And um, we have got uh, many of them. I've just cited these two because they are the ones where we are facing serious challenges of uh, illegal settlement. Well, th that should not be happening. It's, it's, it's illegal. And uh, they have not um, gone there through uh, illegal means. When it is a, a gazetted and a protected forest under the Forest Commission, no one can go in there unless there is a specific uh, process which has um, uh, happened and which has been approved. And when we say approved, this, by the way, um, to gazette such a forest, it requires the authority of the head of state. So to change that position, it also requires a state which goes up to uh, get such an approval. So um, those people who are there are illegally there. You know, most of our plantations, especially for, um, for the timber industry, are found in Manikaland. So when you talk of uh, Nyanga, when you talk of Mtare, Chimanimani, Chipinge, all those uh, cities were found on the basis of the timber industry some in terms of the actual growing of the forests, the plantations, some in terms of uh, the factories which produce the timber for the country. So we are destroying that economy. And uh, there is no other uh, activity that would then replace that. And remember, timber is um, um, a product which takes uh, quite a long, a lengthy period. If we want to have mature timber for our furniture, the, the period we are looking at is uh, 25 years, not less than 25 years. If we want to have gum poles for our fences, uh, the minimum period we are talking about is uh, 10, 12 years. So this is what we are d destroying. And uh, if this continues, in the next uh, three or so years, uh, the country will be importing timber. This is the reality of the situation. And let us also look at the number of um, unemployment, the jobs that are being affected by the destroying of these forests. That's the first aspect, which is a major aspect. The second one is the environmental degradation, which is coming with it. This is a, a huge issue. And when you go there, you actually see that uh, all the forests are gone. The people don't even take regard to protecting even uh, the river, the source of water. They don't even worry about the next person, you know, downstream, uh, whether they are affected by the, the pollution they are causing in the rivers.